Shields up, Iron Breakers. Welcome back to No Rest for the Wicked, and today's video is going to be a quick one. I wanted to give you guys a very quick update as to the performance issues that I was experiencing with No Rest for the Wicked, as there is likely a little bit of fault of my own, and I'm going to get into detail and explain what is happening. But before we do, let's take a look at the settings here so that you guys can see what we're running the game as, and it is running at 4K resolution. VSync is on, full screen windowed, you know, everything else on default, and then a in presets, we have quality presets at the best quality, render scale at 100%. I turn off motion blur. I don't really think that that has any impact on performance, but I don't usually like motion blur. We do have dynamic resolution scaling on because we just put it on. Why not? We could turn it off. Uh, it'll probably give us a bigger impact. But the point of the, of the matter here is that the game right now is running at 4K, and it is running at a pretty reasonable uh, performance like we're as you guys can see on the bottom right hand side we have present mon which is a software I wasn't even familiar with before today but this pretty much gives you the frame rate that the game is running and I threw myself off the cliff because I was looking at present mon you'll notice that it is going to tank a little bit now because whenever you load into town uh, it tanks a little bit in the 30s 40s but now it's back up to normal and this thing that I'm doing right now just running through sacrament and stepping outside is one of the situations that would give me the most problems uh, when I was playing earlier and this is something that you will have seen in my live streams which is why it's so important for me to make this particular correction video but as you guys can tell it's like work on this performance actually looks pretty good which is pretty much what I would expect on my system because it's a fairly high-end system. It's still not perfect. It's got a couple of hiccups here and there, but it is nowhere close to the issues that we were experiencing on stream, sometimes even at 1080p and, you know, uh, 1440p. You guys can see it's lowering a little bit here, going into the 40s and all of that, but again, right now, we're not running at 1440p, which was... The, the way in which I was live streaming the game. And before people say, oh, it's because you were live streaming, I ran through PC setup to prevent any type of situation like that. So uh, live streaming has literally no performance impact whatsoever on the computer that I'm playing the game on because that's how a two computer set setup works. But anyway, if we actually go in here and we bump things down to uh, quality and we bump the resolution down to 1440p, which is what I was willing to sacrifice in order to have better, uh, a better experience, you guys can tell that the frame rate is actually significantly better. It is much more stable, even though coming in and out of Sacrament is definitely a bit of a pain point for the game, which tells me that we're still not all there yet when it comes to performance, but it is also not nearly as bad as I pointed out uh, in my video. I was going to say review. It's not really a review because it was more my impressions on what I've played after playing 15 hours of the thing to also provide feedback to devs and all of that stuff. But as you can see, this performance is way better than anything that I was experiencing on the stream. So now let's talk about why. So I posted my video yesterday, as you guys are most likely aware. And then I received a comment from uh, this person on YouTube, Woody PWX, and he says, Hey, Rurikon, thank you for the great and detailed review. I'm one of the rendering guys at Moon. One of my main dev machines is an AMD Ryzen uh, 3900 XT with AMD Radeon 6900 XT, uh, and the game has no problem maintaining 60 FPS at 1080p. Now, the reason why 1080p is uh, relevant is because at one point in my live stream, I actually bumped everything down to 1080p lowest graphical settings and I was still experiencing some issues with the game and so he mentions on such a powerful GPU we're definitely CPU bound could you please record any bad area struggling on your hardware with present mon and I did I used present mon this morning although that video is not really relevant so I'm not going to be showing it at this point but I used it and it was like it was bad it was 40 FPS 30 FPS constantly dipping both at 1080p and at 1440p it was bad right and so I recorded that and then I said hey I recorded a video uh and I have the Presmon capture data as well and I asked them to reach out to me so that I could you know forward all of this data to them so that they could hopefully use it to make the game a little bit better but then there was this additional comment that came through uh, from a user called Grease1337, uh, and I appreciate the comment, who said, as someone in the biz, how much are we going to be seeing everyone with high-end systems complain because they turn out to have dog shit system latency? I noticed tons of people on multi-CCD Zen chips that think their system is amazing because of the more cores and then have some crummy 3200 megahertz C18 memory. Now... 
I bought my PC about three years ago, so I didn't remember exactly what the RAM was on it, but I was pretty sure that I had around 4,000 megahertz. That was my memory recollection. So I went back and I looked through all the things. And before we even go through everything else, I'm going to show you guys my DX Diag. Uh, in case you guys want to know anything about the hardware that we're running on, uh, we have uh, an X570 RS Pro motherboard, uh, AMD Ryzen 9 5900X 12 cores, 32 gigs of RAM and RectX 12. And then on uh, GPU, as you guys can even see here, the AMD Radeon uh, RX 6900 XT. That's what we're running uh, on the PC. And as well, another thing that is most definitely not our bottleneck is the 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 hard drive it's not really a hard drive it's an nvme drive where i have the game installed which is this one the msi 480 i don't know if this is the best nvme drive or not i think it was a pretty good one uh at the time when i bought it it's not the two terabyte model it is the one terabyte model because again i bought this like three years ago during uh, COVID times, prices were hiked up as all hell this was actually i think on a pretty deep discount on the store that i bought it on but anyway the point was, I eventually went back and I was like, so, so which RAM do I have? So this is the RAM that we're working with. Uh, a G-Skill Trident Z RGB, DDR4 at uh, 4000 megahertz CL19. Now, I think that this is a fairly respectable RAM. You know, I, I very rarely cheap out when it comes to PC components. I usually get what I consider to be an adequate thing without splurging too much. Uh, which I felt at the time, three years ago, that this was a pretty good RAM. So I'm like, no, it's like 4,000. But because the user made this comment, I got reminded that recently in the area of Portugal that I live, this very specific location, I had like three, four blackouts in a row. Like I was actually recording uh, footage for other video games and I lost a, a bunch of footage multiple times. It was frustrating as hell. And I was like, you know, we did have those blackouts. Let me just check out how the BIOS is doing, if there's any problems there. I do have uh, outlets with power surge protection and all of that stuff. But turns out my BIOS actually reset the, uh, the clock of my RAM to 2100. Now, this was recent. This was not something that, you know, because I've been playing other video games and I did not have any problems. Like we were playing Dragon's Dogma 2, and that has its own share of performance issues, but it was running significantly better at 4K. But, you know, so I was like, God damn it. So I went and I fixed it and I put the clock speed back to what it should be. And that's when we came back to the game and it's actually running fine. So I wanted to make sure that I posted this uh, as a correction. I wish I could add like a, an edit to the other video attach this to the other video whatever but fundamentally i wanted to make sure that you guys were aware i'm going to make like a pinned comment or something in the other video to um the kind of correct it because fundamentally the performance issues are not as bad as i portrayed in my video this was due to again blackouts which led to a hardware situation on my end and now that that is fixed performance is actually significantly better it is still problematic there were more people in the comment sections complaining about it and there's more people experiencing performance issues but it is nowhere nearly as bad as i mentioned in my video and i want to make that perfectly clear you know so anyway that's it for this video uh sorry for having this blackout situation and whatnot which caused me to give you a little bit of erroneous information on the other video hopefully this will reach you guys but yeah Thank you all very much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay strong. Stay safe. Peace out.